Hello Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the year of 2023 spiritual guidance reading. For this reading I've been guided to the uh, Sacred Travelers deck by Denise Lynn and I'm going to lay a 12 card spread. One card representing each month of the year of 2023. Okay, so we have uh, Pisces, you're going to be starting off the year of 2023 in this foggy energy. Uh, you may not be sure where or when you're going to get to where this boat is going, but Spirit is saying, go slow and take your time. Everything is divinely timed in your case right now okay february of 2023 we have reaching your destination okay look at that slowly but surely as i sit in this foggy energy i am coming to the realization that i have reached my destination i feel like they expected to reach a destination where there was like uh, not much uh, in front of them and then they come to the realization this pisces uh, that this is a castle that your light is shining brightly and what you are starting to see is something big and beautiful could have to do with your organization building business creativity in march of 2023 pisces we've got this beautiful infinite of abundance energy so your light is shining in february and in march uh, there is this abundance pouring in uh, money stability uh, kindness uh, support in April we have the view from above card so starting to kind of look back and reflect on how far you have come seeing the big picture of uh, your destination oh my goodness in May we have in the flow everything is smooth sailing oh my gosh and in June we have the wandering path so here you are, smooth sailing, enjoying the journey, um, seeing the big picture in May, uh, I'm sorry, April, May, and June. Now in July, we have navigating by the stars. So Spirit saying, continue to follow your bliss, continue to do you in the month of July. For in August, we have this bridge. So uh, there is a process taking place, and I think in hindsight, in August, Pisces is going to be looking back at the journey once again and is able to kind of release uh, all that was foggy. There's like healing taking place. There's mending taking place within your soul and the ability uh, to release uh, your worries about where the stars were guiding you. Those worries and that fogginess uh, is gone and you're going to just keep coming into an awareness of that fact, uh, especially in August, crossing the bridge into your spiritual sanctuary, okay? Uh, abundance is pouring into your life, and there's a reflection again on this in the month of September. So Spirit saying, continue to open up your spiritual source, your inner child. Um, people are going to be drawn to your light Throughout this whole year, uh, I think it's important that you make sure you take some time out to find some time to meditate, uh, to ground yourself because you're, uh, yeah, you may be traveling into the direction of <clears throat> a new sanctuary, a new business location, a new home location, a new direction of sorts. And this whole realization of this journey is, um, gosh, it's just bringing you such contented energy and that's what you're going to be reflecting on in september okay so in october look at that we've got vast vistas in a house okay traveling into your sanctuary healing and release and realizing uh, that your uh, uh, your horizons are expanding there's that ship again. It's like I sat here. I looked at all the beauty of this. I'm moving into a new direction. I'm expanding my horizons. And now I'm taking this home and I'm traveling uh, back on that ship again. Oh, my. So, yeah. Vast vistas. People being drawn to you. Um, recognizing still 
uh, in October that you ha are seeing this big picture of where you've been navigated to go by the universe and that everything everything is so good like traveling to connect with others or doing this virtually uh, is helping you to expand your horizon because of your abundance and your support this year in November see he's looking at the ship I kid you not getting ready to go down and get on that ship and so here we are back on that ship in November taking another risk and venturing forward expanding into the direction of something at a distance so it's important that you kind of take some time to rest and heal from all the busy work things that have taken place in the first uh seven eight months uh take some time to uh, again meditate and ground yourself uh, in the month of September because then there's going to be news of something at a distance and moving towards another adventure a greater adventure so it's like there's success and then there's travel into the direction of a beautiful foundation um, and, and that may be at a distance this could be just traveling or actually moving by the end of the year and so as you do um, we've got this impasse energy getting out and just acknowledging the beauty th beautiful things of nature spirit saying you will be reflecting on all that took place this beautiful journey this year and spirit saying you will then be able to in December of 2023 re uh, uh, redirect your energy into another project or idea so there's uh there are opportunities opening up in um february and that are going to help you to ebb and flow with energies of abundance on a beautiful journey where the stars are guiding you um all the way through the first seven months and by the eighth month you're just finding great contentment um, and are coming to the realization that things are expanding new adventures are opening up um, and yeah, you then have to redirect your energy to the next journey at the end of in December of 2023. So look at this. This whole year is a journey of passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Savor the fact that you are going through this healing, this transformation. You are rising into a higher part, a new self, a new way of existing in this world in the year of 2023 savor your life in the little moments give thanks to spirit because spirit's going to be guiding you all along uh, you could have someone who has passed uh, pisces and they are telling you that you are cherished by them they are watching you discover a beautiful truth within you as you travel and connect with those around you this year uh, take the first steps then take a moment to pause walk in the beauty of what lies within you for a breakthrough is is at hand expect miracles to occur so here you are feeling very grounded again i feel by september of 2023 and then spirit saying the time will be it'll be time to answer the call open the door answer the email believe in the magic that has unfolded this far for you this year for by the end of the year there's this realization uh, that you can put a fork in it or in this case a sword right you can overcome obstacles and challenges because of the magic that has taken place for you so by the end of the year here we have november december of 2023 we've got snow and you holding up a lantern and just kind of uh taking shelter here taking shelter uh as you plan some form of adventure travel and then we have a lot of focus ref reflecting redirecting sitting in solitude so it's like spirit saying hold the course as you travel towards new adventures locations directions in november and december make sure of course you take time to sit in silence and trust uh, that uh, the journey is meant to be this year for you so if you're a little unsure this year of the journey spirit saying you are exactly where you need to be doing what you were meant to do step into unknown territory and jump on that ship it is time for a new cycle in your life just like the rest of us an old path is ending therefore there is nothing 
to do except step into the new beginning. And so if we are aware of what we are beginning and creating this year, Spirit saying success is going to uh, grow for those who are choosing their path, right? We were sent here to create uh, who we were meant to be, our soul's purpose in this life. And if you guys have been working on that in 2022, uh, it is a time now where you're going to start to feel great harmony and victory and success. You're going to be excited in the year of 2023 Pisces to put effort into something that grows into uh, a triumph, which is what we're all being guided to do in this number seven year of 2023. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burston. All right. So dear Lord Spirit, guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this 12 card spread for whichever Pisces needs to hear this information most in the year of 20. 23. So yeah, the reason things feel a little bit of foggy in uh, the end of 2022 going into 2023 Pisces is because an old path is dissipating. A long and difficult path is over. And now you're going through that foggy energy of what's next for me. So in February, we have Pisces reaching your destination, your light shining brightly with the major arcana, the wheel of fortune. Because you've been down a long and difficult path, Spirit saying you're going to recognize that the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor in the month of February. All right, in the month of March, we have a new path in love, a renewed path in love, or the realization of abundance, support from like-minded people, celebrating with those who love you, the fact that Spirit has given you a new path in the form of the Ace of Cups, an overflowing path of peace, joy, and happiness. So you are in your element, filling your cup with what fulfills you first and foremost. In April, we've got a view from above. So Spirit is saying, um, you're going to start to see the bigger picture of what's unfolding before you here. Abundance is pouring into your life, but it's all about the journey. It starts small and then it will grow. So there's a little bit here about your perspective, okay? They're saying in April, make sure, Pisces, that you don't um, feel or fear something like you don't have enough in the area of money, okay? Uh, Spirit's trying to bring you the big picture, that things grow over time. So yeah, there's like this exhale going on in may of 2023 for pisces uh, the realization that everything is now unfolding beautifully for you uh, it's like i've worked on this project this idea i've connected with these people i've marketed here and there and it's like when you least expect it there comes an offer from the universe and i'm feeling that that is showing up in may of 2023 for pisces so everything will be smooth sailing by May if you're worried uh, in the beginning of the year in January. Um, in June, we have enjoy the journey and free yourself. Uh, a path is going to open up. You're going to be looking at the journey, a map, a direction you need to go, maybe actually at some form of GPS, uh, looking at a journey and just fearing uh, that you're stuck or trapped where you are at. And that is false okay the eight of swords is a figment of our imagination spirit saying you are not stuck or trapped in your circumstances enjoy the journey that is opening up for you the gift from the universe right here with the ace of cups there is a path of abundance that's pouring into your life and eventually you will enjoy the journey if you free yourself and check it out okay because in july you're going to be like oh my gosh the stars indeed were navigating me to follow what it is that fulfills me therefore uh, i am feeling like the king of cups energies i have gone through the process of love and difficulties in the area of my emotions and now i have reached the level of the king of cups where i am emotionally balanced i can care give provide support help others because of all that i've learned and so follow your bliss if it is about helping, caring, giving, providing for others. Follow your bliss. Help uh, what you are creating uh, as you let your light shine in the world around you is uh, this opportunity for spirit to assist you with what it is that you are trying to manifest. 
in August, we have Crossing Bridges, all right? Time for hen Mending, Healing, Releasing, okay? So there is some indecision here with the Two of Swords. Uh, there could be a watery type energy that shows up, another water energy like yourself Pisces Cancer or Scorpio and um, yeah they may come back around as a test uh, you may find yourself indecisive about should I stay where I'm at should I go back towards the past see this person's crossing the bridge going into the direction of this king of cups uh, spirit is saying it's time to heal and release all right so if you find yourself indecisive about some form of decision here uh, keep your heart open be kind and release Okay, in September, open yourself to your spiritual source. There is sanctuary. Uh, your hard work and efforts, you will know by September of 2023, have indeed brought that ship in that you've been worried about, that you've been hoping for. Abundance is coming in. And so what you are doing that you love, that fulfills you personally and emotionally, uh, that is going to eventually free you from maybe feeling stuck and stagnant or like you don't have enough money this year. Follow your bliss. Heal from the past. Let go of those that cause confusion. Sit in your sanctuary and continue to help care, give, provide, and share that beautiful Pisces energy with the world around you because I think it is in September where you realize, just like with the three of wands, we always say, your ship has finally come in. You start to see the big picture, that there needed to be a journey here, that you needed to trust that spirit was helping you along this journey and that all you had to do was do what you love. Okay, and as your aura starts to shine very brightly here, uh, you could very well in June and or I'm sorry, July and August, Pisces, draw someone into your direction from the past. Uh, I don't feel like they're a ship coming in. I think they're only going to cause confusion. And if that's the case, Spirit saying move on. We got greater things, right? It, your your horizons are expanding. There are vast vistas waiting for you to discover. So have faith in your journey. Have faith that all will be well, that your horizons will expand and your ship will come in, okay? If anyone tries to come in uh, and be drawn to you because of your successes this year, um, you got to just identify, are they, uh, Can I, have I mended and healed? Maybe they need to come back so you can get rid of their negative energy and find faith in your future adventures, plans, goals, and intentions once again in November. We have this great adventure, taking a risk, venturing forward, traveling into a new direction. Now, there are some here who are going to get hung up on someone who shows back up. And Spirit is saying you need to connect, mend, heal, release. Better things are on their way. Open yourself to faith and trust in your personal horizons. This is a time to move forward, not to go back. For those of you who do go back... Uh, and take a risk here, you're going to be going back into the direction of someone who should not be trusted. So we do have by December, reflecting and redirecting your energy from someone who just needs to go instead into the direction of the Ten of Pentacles. So we have seen the Ten of Pentacles by the end of the year in December of 2023 for a couple few signs now. So, you know, this is the triumph card. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, Spirit saying, enjoy the journey as you free yourself from all that was and negative people because this year uh, it is time to open your spiritual source to care give provide support and know that abundance will come as a result of your positive efforts new adventures are going to open up at the end of 2023 and uh and you're going to finally see a light at the end of the tunnel that you've been waiting for um yeah something comes your way that brings you faith uh in um August and September. I'm sorry, hold on a second. September and October. And again, as you venture forward in a way where you're so excited about your personal adventures, people are going to be drawn to you that are both good and bad, okay? Uh, but this is a this is like you've been here, done this, and no longer are you going to get caught up with people who don't deserve your time, right? They left you with not very much, and now you're creating what you need for yourself. So it is a time to release, heal, and open yourself back up to a new 
adventure that is coming in. I, I think, uh, you know, your efforts may take the entire year, but at the end of the tunnel, uh, there's a shift in perspective, a new adventure and a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money. So there's a realization of a path of fulfillment at the beginning of the year and then confirmation at the end of the year uh, that you are doing well because you followed your bliss, because you knew that uh, you are exactly where you're meant to be, doing what you're meant to be doing this year, and eventually an unknown opportunity or direction is going to open up for you. And you will also realize uh, that this is the journey that spirit wanted for you. A path of pleasure and passion. Yeah, so indecision about money, maybe in relation to Pisces energy with the moon. I think this is more about a little bit conflicted in the first, uh, maybe even... Seven months where you're not sure about where your efforts are going to bring you, which direction, how much money, and so on. Uh, but Spirit is helping for Pisces to continue to set and make goals in a very passionate and excited way with the Queen of Wands energies. And we have the Temperance Angels. So finding balance while creating what you're passionate about. Okay, Finding contentment and freeing yourself uh, from stagnancy and from negative people. Uh, I do feel like we've got uh, you feeling very passionate about your work. And in some cases, uh, you Pisces connecting with someone who has Sagittarius in their chart. So we do have shocking situations regarding um, the devil. Regarding, um, hmm. Negativity. All right. Uh, so if you're feeling stuck or trapped... Especially in June, Spirit's saying, do you. Um, you have the ability, male or female, with the Empress energy this year to give birth to, to a gift from the universe. People may be drawn towards you. Again, I feel that are not good for you. I'm getting some air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, but also, uh, there's going to be this realization that your hard work, work and efforts have paid off. Uh, with the Six of Swords, this is... I am letting go of sadness, worry, fear, concern, and the confusion of that Two of Swords in August. I am going to go instead into the direction of a soul connection, an opportunity that is meant to be. So, yeah, some are laying down a passionate connection, um, a path they've been into for a period of time in the area of home, family, and business, and are wanting to go very, very excitedly into the direction of a new doorway. Look at that. Now, I'm feeling like this unexpected opportunity really related to spirituality or assistance in the world around you. That's what's bringing your ship in in September. Um, so spirit saying when a new doorway comes in, when your ship comes in uh, around September, uh, Spirit's going to give you, Pisces, the high priestess energy where you can follow your intuition and remain still as you observe everything before taking the action. Okay? What you are waiting for is coming. Uh, okay, I'm seeing a lot of the repeat. Okay, so here we have mid-year. We've got some inner conflict regarding communication. Is this a balanced connection? Uh, is someone going to pay me what I'm worth? Am I going to make enough money if I follow my bliss? So here we have uh, the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. I feel like this is exciting communication coming from you uh, to maybe younger uh, children, maybe to a younger air sign or two, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And that could be what this uh, uh, indecision is about in August. Communication about, I'm hearing business as well. It's like the more things open up for you this year, Pisces, the more you research the area of money and things of the material in your life, uh, the more you are healing and releasing uh, from difficulties of the past. Again, maybe, I don't know if I said regarding, because we got the Ten of Cups here in July, uh, someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, because, yeah, Spirit's trying to guide you guys into the position of the Queen of Coins, where you're financially 
stable, secure, and can make uh, really good choices now in the area of money. So really, September, uh, September, October, November, December, we have wishes coming true. Uh, whether this is a lump sum of money, a win, an inheritance, I see travel going on here at the end of 2023. I see a new path opening up uh, where there will be money in abundance for the long term. And so I think that's what this expanding your horizons, feeling very faithful. Um, because of a great adventure that is capturing your attention. Yeah, so in November, you may have someone come towards you that should not be trusted who's an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, because they see that you're financially independent, stable, and secure. But you're not going to let anybody uh, pull the wool over your eyes. At the end of 2023, here you are in this beautiful home, this beautiful business situation, financially abundant, secure, and stable, able to acknowledge and communicate the truth to those around you. Look, I'm headed into a path of a great adventure and victory. Therefore, I'm cutting away from anyone who comes towards me sideways. Okay, so we have, here we go, Pisces, you are loading things up at the end of the year of 2023, looking towards the next journey. There are new doorways opening up as a result of your hard work and efforts. There's a realization here that you have overcome all of your action steps in one area, and now now comes exciting communication. I'm almost hearing like a blessing from the angels in the form of a passionate new direction. Whether this is career finance, uh, a person, I'm feeling like a new home. Money and home and, and tradition is all taking place and is catching your attention by the end of December of 2023, Pisces. The strength to communicate your truth, uh, to recognize how far you've come, and to create now a happily ever after that you are passionate about. So, uh, yeah. There's mending happening and healing happening, but there's also uh, you and your element. Not quite sure where this card came from, but it fell here where the Two of Swords used to be. Time for healing and connecting and mending. Follow your intuition, for Spirit is guiding you to um, open up your spiritual side. Right. Continue to do so because after three projects, ideas or marketing adventures this year, your ship is going to come in. That's going to bring you a lot of faith. And eventually uh, by October, November, December, Spirit's saying continue to have faith because you're uh, something at a distance uh, is opening up. Some beautiful adventure is leading you to the Ten of Pentacles. Shocking realization. Look at on the bottom of the deck that your efforts have paid off. Of course, I do see Sagittarius again. I think if you're in a relationship with someone, you're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, and some are feeling a little bit stuck where you're at. Uh, but, you know, you know that you know if you're with the right person. Don't lose yourself in this journey of success, okay? Make sure you still have faith in those who have faith in you. Don't get lost in... Uh, these new adventures or this new adventure. All right, so the overall message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for the year of 2023 for Pisces is the Seven of Thought or Swords. So some of you Pisces, you've been pretty confused about a situation in your life, and it is during this year where things are going to start to become completely clear to you, and I'm getting that again uh, in the month of February of 2023. Whether this truth is revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it's going to start to feel really, really good to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone when you need it, okay? So this is hard work and then a moment of pause. Hard work, so there's going to be a, a need for balance for the collective as we put effort into manifesting our triumph in the number seven year. Remember, we got the eight of thought here and the eight of thought in June. Uh, you may sometimes feel like you're um, restricted by your current circumstances, the circumstances that you're finding yourself in. But this, again, is just an illusion, okay? Enjoy the journey. Wander the path. Check things out in June. Some of you may be traveling and just checking out the world in general. Um, make a promise to yourself to no longer be stuck in a situation that makes you feel unhappy. Don't wait for someone to rescue you from the stagnancy when this year you can free yourself. There's the Ace of Thought that we saw again, Ace of Swords. 
Eventually, your ideas are going to inspire others this year. It will be important to communicate both clearly and thoroughly from anyone who may be involved in the implementation of these ideas, of these adventures that you will be experiencing. Do not be dissuaded by little challenges along the way here in 2023, for these are just course corrections uh, to perfect your plan to find uh, the direction of success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do this year when you listen to divine guidance. Uh, there's going to eventually, uh, if, if you have to wait till the very last four months of the year, um, you will find in hindsight that you've balanced so many opportunities, so many priorities, and now you are really coming out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way. And Spirit is saying, don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude that you truly deserve in 2023. So should these messages have resonated for you and you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour videos and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so, so very much for those likes, those shares, and those subscribes. Uh, thank you to those of you who've come to me for your yearly readings already, and to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others. That's been a lot of fun as well. Take care, and God bless. <music>